As I begin every audio cast, most people feel they have the right to pursue life, liberty, and happiness underneath the Constitution of the United States, provided that they are lawfully an American citizen, born here, raised here, bred here, and thriving here. Underneath those guys, we are pursuing, of course, propriety and prosperity. Under that, we have the right to utilize our discretionary income to purchase anything we like or to receive gifts from other people who are kind to us celebrating our important holidays of the year. Within American society, we have the right to receive gifts, and gifts should not be vandalized or be obliterated by people of violence. I'm talking today about the impact of people who have been harming a homeless person and a traveler in this nation. Not everyone at this time has a car and many elderly people time out of driving their vehicles. If that is ca the case, those vehicles should be donated to the appropriate place so that they may be donated to younger drivers who need them so that they can pick up the slack and they can openly pay for insurance and they can get their life going again. When my late father was becoming more dangerous for driving, I was the only one he would listen to about taking away his keys. My other siblings were not thinking about the liabilities of what could happen when he clipped a car with me in it, and literally when he did that, I took his keys. My late mother had to learn to start driving again, and while she's pretty good at it, my father's car is too big for her. It is hard as hell to convince any sibling to say replace it for her because of the emotional attachment she has to it because it belonged to my father and his estate and also because of the fact that inside of it she feels pretty great. It reminds her of all the traveling that they did in their retirement and all the adventures they took each year while he was working to explore America and its history and heritage in a way that though the people of their generation would love. I am telling you that it is sometimes hard to let go of possessions, but at the same time we have to look at safety of an elderly person and safety of a community. Something I've noted a great deal recently as I sit out of the heat on warm sundered, sunny days like anyone would of my age, education, and station to keep themselves from getting dehydrated is that openly we have an incredible value of elderly people that are driving with all kinds of impediments, meaning they have a cane or they have a walker or they have a rollator or they're actually in a wheelchair and yet they're using their muscles still to drive. It is a little confusing for me because my thought is, gosh, if you can barely move to walk, how can you drive? I've also seen people who are literally impoverished of mind and that they've actually had some sort of an accident and they're repairing and yet they're driving with their actual broken leg on the gas pedal. This concerns me a great deal. But what we're showing to you right now is actually a dog bed, which I lo lovingly call a day bed, that I picked up out of a trash can. The truth is, though, that its coloring has changed. The one I picked up was black with black edges and a black bottom. The one that I'm now carrying is not black anymore. It is a white and black speckled, but around the edges is more purple or maroon, and I did not do that. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about what we choose to pick from garbage cans that people no longer wish to have because they either got rid of their animal or they thought someone gave them something that was wrong. But in life, we have the moments of time to speak the truth. Every single one of us has the right to own property and our own property not being abused. I'm also finding that I had a whole bunch of little pen lights that I'd been carrying since the holiday time, literally, that I gave away to people who were kind to me on the street and just thoughtful in talking with me. I didn't accept any money for them, but what I'm finding is now most of them are gone from my property. Half, half of them are broken, and they were working because I checked them all, and openly my favorite colors are gone. I didn't give those little lights that attach to anything with little rubber band to anyone other than a friend who had a bike. But beyond that, I gave them singly or doubly to people. And it's sad for me that they are gone. I'm also finding my large selection of hot hands have been replaced by someone. I now have little 
things that go on your feet in there and not the selection of hot hands I had been keeping for me. That makes me angry. I purchased those hot hands. I didn't receive them as gifts and I'm fucking pissed off about it because the weather is changing and getting colder and last night was cold for me. I didn't like that someone came into my tent in space because what that did was let the warm air that I had trapped inside with the appropriate breathing capabilities got lost. In life we all have property but only a bastard of Satan, a foreigner from another city or land would think they have rights to you or me or rights to our property. The lies that people tell us and the lies that they tell others is I'm doing nothing wrong. I'm merely teaching a lesson. You're not. You're violating the law.